Yo, what's up guys? Today we're going to talk about the Kevin Durant injury and how it affects free agency. Kevin Durant's injury has a huge impact on the Golden State Warriors as well as the whole future of the NBA. With free agency looming, the Golden State Warriors have to make a decision on whether or not they want to keep Kevin Durant. The Golden State Warriors have to decide between signing Kevin Durant or Klay Thompson. This will be a tough choice for the Golden State Warriors, but this is an opportunity for teams like the Lakers to take advantage. With the Warriors possibly losing Kevin Durant, Durant, the Western Conference will be up for grabs. The Lakers have plenty of cap space to spend on free agency this summer, and if they make the right moves, they could become the next powerhouse in the NBA. Right now, the Lakers are trying to trade Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram in the fourth pick for Anthony Davis to get LeBron a co-star. And with a depleted Warriors roster, a LeBron James and Anthony Davis duo would take the Lakers very far. As we saw in the NBA Finals this year, the Golden State Warriors look completely shambled without Kevin Durant. A healthy Kevin Durant made the Warriors unstoppable, but with Kevin Durant being out for a season or two and probably not coming back the same, the Los Angeles Lakers would take advantage of this golden opportunity. Kevin Durant is one of the top players in the NBA, but now that he has an Achilles injury, no one is sure how good he will be when he recovers. If the Lakers trade for Anthony Davis, they could send another star to join the Brandon Davis in LA. The Lakers would have a big three, and they would be the new threat in the Western Conference. Whether or not Kevin Durant stays or leaves, it would be a tough situation for the Warriors either way. If Kevin Durant stays with the Warriors, the Warriors aren't sure if he will still be the same player, and if he leaves, it'll weaken the Warriors. The second best team in the Western Conference is the Houston Rockets, but with an aging Chris Paul and no cap space, they are likely to fall apart. If the Lakers don't get Davis, they could still make moves in free agency to help them beat the Warriors and the Rockets. Kimba Walker, Kyrie Irving, and Jimmy Butler have all showed interest in playing for the Lakers. And any one of these players can help the Lakers get past the tough teams in the West. LeBron James is still a top 5 player in the NBA. And as long as he has a co-star, he could go very far in the playoffs and, and in the finals. And if you give LeBron a big three, you're talking championships. As I was making this video, Anthony Davis was actually traded to the Los Angeles Lakers. This is a great move by the Los Angeles Lakers because LeBron now has his co-star and Lakers still have cap space to sign a Kemba Walker or a Kyrie Irving free agency. The Lakers also ended up keeping Kyle Kuzma, who was one of their best young assets. Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, Josh Hart, and the fourth pick were all dealt to the Pelicans for Anthony Davis. Which isn't that bad considering during the All-Star break we were going to give up more than half of our team for Anthony Davis. I think the Lakers are now the best team in the Western Conference. And although the Warriors still have a good roster with Curry and Clay, the Lakers have LeBron, Anthony Davis, and plenty of cap space to help bring a championship back to Los Angeles. Kevin Durant's injury also has an impact on what Kyrie Irving will sign in free agency. Kyrie Irving wanted to team up with Kevin Durant in New York, but now that it's looking like Kevin Durant will be out for a while, Kyrie Irving might shift his focus on joining the Lakers with LeBron and Anthony Davis. It'll be interesting to see how things play out within the next couple weeks. For more Laker videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.